Okay. Huh, so we have a couple of options here, my friends. We have this story that we were following, or we have the main story. Now, the region that we're in is definitely where... Wait, is this... Uh... The region where we are is definitely where we're supposed to be because it's in the vicinity of the main story quest. So there's definitely an expectation, I think, from the game developers, the game designers, that we are going to... Um, that we're going to take a little sidetrack, visit the Osram, get to know them a little better, and I kind of wonder whether whatever happens here um, is going to be in some way connected to Osram's story. Now, what I find interesting is that in order to pursue the main story quest, I'm pretty sure you had to go through Meridian. Like, I'm pretty sure that you can't continue the plot of the game even with the like underlying backstory mystery stopping the destruction of the world by as it turns out Hades I think you have to have done some stuff with Meridian you have to progress some of the Karja story and I'm wondering if there's going to be requirements to do some of the uh, Osirum story as well um, because we've gotten to know the Nora and we've gotten to know the Karja and it's true that the Karja are extremely, extremely active in the plot. And they're super important in the world. They're really powerful. Everybody has opinions about the Karja. Um, but... I feel like the Osirum are important as well. And we've... They're not just straight up the dwarves. They're not just straight up any real world culture either. Um... But I feel like I feel like we need to get to know them a little bit better. Um, I'm assuming that the uh, the uh, DLC is going to introduce us more to the Banuk. Um, so it's all right if there's not a lot going on with the Banuk in the main story. But it really feels like the Ostrom because the the conflicts between the Ostrom and the Karja are so central, um, and some of our main characters in the Karja storyline are Ostrom. Um, I, I would like to spend more time with the Ostrom. All that to say, we are going to continue trying this plot thread, if you folks will forgive me, um, to just kind of maybe see what's going on in this part of the world. Um, and then we'll continue this way. I actually don't know. We might just teleport here. I don't remember if there's a reason why I... That is... That's a T-Rex. I can recognize those now. I've only asked you folks about the T-Rexes how many times? What was this one? Find the hunters. I don't remember why we were finding hunters, but, um... Wait, this goes up to a storm. Why? Well, I might try teleporting here and see if I can figure out why I didn't go this way. If you folks are alright with a little bit of side quest going, I do want to see how far I can get in this game before I go down to Texas because it is much harder to bring a PS4 down to Texas, which I will be doing. Um, so I don't know that we'll be able to beat this game in a matter of like f four weeks or something like that, um, but especially not with the way I play things. Um, but we'll see what we do. We'll see how it goes. I apologize um, for interrupting games, uh, but... Well, if nobody has any objections, well, if you do have objections, feel free to speak up. I will listen to your objection, but then I will continue onward um, with whatever uh, I decide is the best thing to do. Perhaps considering your... Okay, so we left Pitchcliff. I'm not even doing a reminder of what happened. Oh, no, there's Chocobos over there. I don't want to... I don't want to... Oop, wrong button. I don't want to get Chocobo. Okay, what's the, that? That is the crouch button. You know what? I have noticed that it does seem I um, I might be remembering buttons better. You know? Like, I'm kind of feeling like I'm getting better at remembering buttons. And that's neat. Okay, there's the really big bird, but I think we'll be okay. I don't want these guys over there to figure me out. But I'm going to try to cross here. Hopefully not get snap mod. Oh, that was a bird swooping overhead. So 
that the big bird swooping overhead? Is that the shadow of a big bird? Hold on, I need my rocks. Is that the big bird shadow? I thought I saw a shadow. Well, I don't know. I hear it. Oh, it's so big. I'm not going to mess with it. Because I'm pretty sure that that's a bad idea. What do I hear? Oh, just some chocobos. Glidhawk. Oh, love those guys. It's a lot of Glidhawks. It was, I think it's interesting that Glidhawks are kind of symbolic of, like, the, the car just seem to view them as a, like, oh, there we go. Okay. As a, as sacred critters. Um, because there's a sign that they had found their destination where they were going, according to where the Glidhawks were. Which, again, um, if there is an AI that has been, um, why? The controller was vibrating there. Why was the controller vibrating? I don't like you guys. I'm gonna go this way instead. Let's not, let's just not deal with birds, shall we? Yeah, I think you're right. I think it was a glint hawk shadow, but I hadn't realized at the time that there were glint hawks in the vicinity. So we're going up this way, which is maybe not the way we're supposed to, but I don't want to deal with those glint hawks because glint hawks suck. Oh, this is the right way, actually. We're doing fine. We're doing fine. There's the glint hawk site. I see. I see. Okay. Uh, let's see if this will take us up. Jeez, I don't like you guys. Okay, well, I'm going to try to see if I can Skyrim horsey my way up here. What do you think? You think I can Skyrim horsey my way up here? Without, um, setting off some glint hawks? Because I feel like Skyrim horseying and glint hawks like, will be a bad combination. No! I can make that. I can make that. No! Hold on. No! Ah! Game has said no. I don't like this. The game is continuing to say no. Why, game? But why? Okay, do I actually have to deal with those guys? I don't want to do that. Uh, I want to Skyrim horsey my way up here. Okay. Okay. Don't tell me I can't Skyrim horsey up things. Game. You don't make the rules, game. Actually, no, you do. Well. I think I did pretty well. Is there an official name for this sort of thing? Because, like, I feel like people are able to figure out what I mean when I call it that. Which I still am delighted by the fact that I've never played Skyrim, but I still know that that's the Skyrim horsey thing, because I think, I think stream viewer folks told me that. And I was like, cool, now I know, and we'll add that to my vocabulary, right up there with, uh, uh, salsa barrels. Okay, let's see. Okay, yeah, we want to be more this way. Just gonna, uh, Oh good, I found a campfire. That means that if I fall to my death from Skyrim horseying ineffectively, I can teleport. Okay, we're doing a little bit better here. I'm good at this game. <laughs> I'm playing this game like you're supposed to. Ooh, where am I? This is a like an actual campsite. I guess I'm supposed to be going to a campsite. I guess that's literally what I'm going for. Hold on. Hold on. There's got to be a way to do this. There's got to be a foothold somewhere here. So we can roleplay this as Aloy being good at climbing. Do you guys hear that? <sighs> Shoot. Ploishing is a good word. I like that. Yes, we did it. Is that how we were supposed to? No. Did it stop me? No. I did it anyway. Oh, I'm so excited. I did it. <laughs> I'm sorry. <sighs> oh, 
All right. Thank you for your uh, patience. Then dealing with me and my Skyrim horseying. All right, we're Snow haze, white as bone. Thanks, Aloy. <sighs> that thought got dark. Like I'm hearing a really unsettling sound. Oof, that is some wind. Also, it's very cold. Do you hear that? Is that in the game? Is that a fence? That looks like that's a fence or something. A bridge. Something that broke. Okay, maybe that used to be the bridge. I guess, I think the guy might have told me something about that. Okay. Oh, I hear bird. Don't you? And there's, of course, some beautiful piano playing. Oh, maybe if I go... Oh, this is probably going to kill me. Is that water? Okay. So that was a bridge. Okay, well. We're going to climb up. Figure out... What we're doing. Yeah, so we're trying to figure out, because this guy was digging around and found some stuff. But the stuff that he uncovered included one of those things that summons glint glinthawks. Now, we know that there were people making those... What are you? Okay, chocobos. Um, we know that there have been people who've been, uh, who, who were making those because they were planting those, um places. If I remember correctly, that was... Who was it that was doing that? Because that happens on the... Uh, there was the estate. The Karja estate. Okay, we've got a Nobasaur. We got some Red Eye Watchers. That looks like where I'm supposed to go, isn't it? No, it's not, actually. That is not where I'm supposed to go. What is... Wait, what is that? What is that? Uh... Was Dervali using some? Okay, I would believe it. Is that a thunderbird? But it's thundery and its head is just... I don't know that that's a friend. I don't know that that's a friend. I'm just trying to figure out how big it is compared to... Okay, so it's farther away than those guys. It's all sparkly though. It's definitely sparkly. Like it looks like it's been electrocuted. What it looks like is it looks like there's a story thing there. They're probably gonna make me fight one of those guys for a story thing. Okay, so this is the way that I need to go. Do I want to try to fight things? Um. No, that is the way I have to go. I think. Huh. Because if I have to go that way, I might as well kill those things now. You know? Probably regret this. Probably regret this. Oops, no, hold on. Skullet is a weakness. Cargo sack is a weakness for tear precision arrows. They're scary for me. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. Nothing to see here. Nothing to see here, guys. Okay, I wasn't sure if the chocobos were gonna. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. The chocobo is on it. I guess I could fight things. Like, what's the worst that can happen? Oops. Okay. Well, it's not quite what I expected, but, uh, that's fine. Somebody down there thinks they see me. Or senses me. 
I'm gonna... I'm gonna be very Lauren. I hope you're alright with that, folks. Nothing to see here. Nothing to see here, buddy. What would make you think there was something to see here? I don't know. Oops. Oh, I see why handling would be good, actually. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Okay. That guy right there, I'm pretty sure. Okay. One endowed. No! Oh my gosh. I'm so sad that you are. Oh my gosh. You're just gonna run around in circles? No! No! Oh shoot. There we go. This guy's so mad. Wait, did I anger something else? Or just this guy? Ha! He exploded. That's what I was trying to do. Okay. Calm, calm. Okay. Oh, the red-eye watchers. Oh, no, I'm just really far away, aren't I? Hello there. That's that's what I do, Blue Glass. That is my, uh, that is my strategy. If you go far enough up, they don't expect you to do this. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, uh... I'm actually knocking parts off of you. Okay, hold on. What are your pieces? You're weak to piercing. Your body is weak to that. Your cargo sack. Okay, so, but if I do this, I think I can explode this if I hit it enough. Makes this a little there easier. we go. Yeah. Yeah! I have exploded your stuff, and now you're frozen and sad. Whew! Yes, that was a pretty satisfying kaboom. That guy right up there, though, I'm nervous about. I suspect that that is something. Okay. So I think that that's everything. So now I get to go down there and deal with these guys. But I think that... Well, if I hurry, there won't be more. So we'll be good. We'll just uh, take parts. That's coming with me. You grabbed your lunchbox? What did I knock off of you over here? Some lunchboxes. Cool. I don't know. I just I misread something. Why is something blue? There's like blue. Well, I don't know. But I don't trust these guys not to come back. So I'm uh, I'm going to take all the things. Which feels like a wise decision. Okay, so that's where I'm supposed to go, I think. I think that's what, this is probably what I'm supposed to do to get there. Okay. Uh, well, we'll see how this goes. Uh, just in case there's a thing that's going to come after me. Okay, how do I do this? Okay, good. Phew. Hi, Sophie. Sophie's jumped up here. Okay, we're going to do this carefully because... Oh, maybe this will have the thing that I need. Isn't this what I need for my... Is that the thing? There's a thing. I need to I need to fight some more Bellowbacks because I want to get... I want to get my stealth armor. My, my upgraded stealth armor, isn't that a bellow back thing that I need? Did I get the thing that I need for that? 
No? Okay. I don't remember what it was. Okay. That was totally its, its searcher bit right there. That's why they couldn't find me. Or maybe because I was too far away. Alright, is there anything else that I'm missing? You ready to probably die to a big guy? I think we're going to probably have to fight a big guy up here. I'm pretty sure that's what we're doing here. It's this big guy right there. Let's see. I'm pretty sure that fellow right there. Bellaback heart. Okay, well, I should just go fight a bunch of Bellabacks. Oh, Lord, brought that stormbird here. If I find any and destroy them, the machine should leave. Well... That is, in fact, how they've gotten me to fight, um, dinosaurs. Oh, shoot, oh, shoot, oh, shoot. Did it see me? Did it see me? Please don't see me. Did it see me? Now it's up. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. There's no way I'm gonna live. There's no way I'm gonna survive this. Disable the lures and kill the stormbird. Where are you going, buddy? Run, Aloy, run. Is it an either or? I mean, I'm gonna try it. Are you ready to die? How long ago did I save? Let's see, what are you gonna do, buddy? Where are you going? What are you doing? You flop down there. I was totally right, though, that I did totally... I am totally gonna have to fight that guy. Hmm. Can I cheese it? The last time I fought this guy and won, I cheesed it. I'm also double the level I was then, and I have better stuff. Freeze canister, lightning gun, snow chill, bitches. Engine, blaze canister, engine. We're gonna look them up, and we're gonna maybe give this a try. I have to fight one of these anyway. Okay. Highly maneuverable flying machine with a wide array of shock-based air-to-ground attacks. <sighs> Blaze canister. Set it on fire. Engine. Disables the dive melee attack. Freeze canister. Freeze anything in the area. Lightning gun. I think that's the one that I want right there. I think I want the lightning gun. I think the lightning gun is what I want to hit. What? Oh, those are the lures. Okay. Here. Where is your lightning gun, buddy? There it is. Okay, hold on. That was not good for me. Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez. Oh shoot! Right, 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 it electrocutes everything. Where are you, buddy? Where are you? There you are. Oh, shoot! That's not good. I don't want to be here. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Where are you? I hate fighting guys in the air. I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. This isn't 
good. Is there a way out? Is this handhold? This looks like handholds. Okay. We're gonna try this. The game allowed me to fall here, though. It's not even missing any health. It's so mad. I should probably... Oh, you can't, can you? Okay, I think I learned that last time. Oops! Oh, jeez. I should probably wear different clothes, huh? Jeez, not again. Again. Jeez, what is it doing? Did it just do something to my head? Oh, jeez. Public heal. No, oh, shoot, I need it to be on fire, and it's not on fire. Shoot! Oh, jeez, oh, jeez, oh, jeez. Yeah, you are. What the heck? I need you to be on fire. Oh, shoot, oh, shoot, oh, shoot, oh, shoot, oh, shoot, oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? You're not on fire enough. Oh my god, I've done like a small- Hi! Sorry, by the way. Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez. 
Wrong button, wrong button. Oh, jeez. It's not setting on fire. And that's just such a good... Shoot! Oh, Jesus, 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 Jesus. I successfully got it on fire, so that's good. Hoop. Where are you? Oh, jeez. Oh 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 Should not have done that. Oh, you can sort of interrupt it. Sort of. Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, are you serious? Oh my god. <sighs> That's my own fault. <sighs> I was doing okay, actually. I could do it. I don't know how long ago I saved, though. <sighs> well. Okay. The good news is that I have all of my stuff. Do I have any of the extra life potions now? Hold on, we're gonna, we're gonna maybe craft? How does that sound? Can't make any of these. Cause I'm full on them? Maybe? No, I am, okay. Yeah, checkpointing is good. I appreciate that. What else have I got? Uh, no, I'm not going to change my tactic. I mean, I could actually, you know what I could do? I could, I could put different stuff in my weapons and my armor. So this makes me resist melee attacks, which is not really what I need here. Resist freeze, resist shock might be good, actually. What do you think? Resist shock, corruption, melee. I think resist shock might be better. It's not not weak to fire. It's just not weak to fire, if that makes sense. I mean, I could switch to this one too. What does this got? Resist ranged and stealth. Resist corruption. Resist shock. Yeah, in case I switch to that. And then modify weapons. Shadow Hunter Bow. See, it's got fire up, which is good, and handling up. Damage and tear. Is there anything else better here? Damage, just damage, damage and tear. Tear and handling, handling and tear. Fire and handling. Fire and freeze. This is not good. Fire and freeze. Handling and fire might be good. So damage up is really good. Twenty-six. Yeah. Okay. Whereas this, where's my archer? Uh, or my my sharpshoot? 
Okay, okay here's my sharpshooting bow. Okay. Is this as good as they want it? Handling up, damage up. Damage up, fire up. Damage up, tear up. Yeah, that's my best. Yeah. Forty-three. Yeah, I feel like this stuff is about as good as it's gonna get, really. The thing is, now I know that I can't really do much. I, you cannot disable things very easily from the big guys. Hang on. If I remember correctly. It got confused. Okay, so I gotta be careful somewhat with a Hit you from this distance, huh? I don't know what your deal is. Oh, that's the wrong. That's the wrong. No wonder you weren't taking damage. Oh, jeez! Holy crap! Oh, jeez! Oh, jeez! Oh, jeez! Probably change into my better armor that because I'm not really stealthing. Oh jeez. Okay. Messing with it? I'm 
gonna take this opportunity to uh, make more arrows. Seems like a good plan, huh? Oops. I thought if I didn't accidentally almost hit the wrong buttons all the time, but. Are you down? You are. Oh, jeez, there's a little. I forgot about those guys. Too bad, little guy. Big damage? Oh jeez. Try not to get big damage done to you. Oh jeez. Did he just get his health back? No. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That was not nearly as bad as I thought it was going to be. So that's good, right? Right? Once I actually was doing like damage, okay, I know that sounds really dumb, but you know what I mean, right? Once I did damage to it, instead of trying to, uh... oh. And now I've got my Stormbird trophy. Cool. I'll take it. What else am I supposed to? Okay, I'm supposed to disable the lures now, so that's not optional. Okay. Okay. Oh, you can hear them. God, they have a really awful sound. They sound like a... There. Allure. They sound like, um, bombs. Which, in a way, they are. Two birds, one stone, yes. Sophie is here. Sophie, what's going on, kitten? Okay, let's not fall off the cliff. Yes, so it turns out that, that if you focus on doing damage to those guys instead of setting fire, um, it makes a really big difference. Also, the guy, he seemed less aggressive that time around. And part of it, I think, was also... Safe. For a few minutes, anyway. Was also that... Um, part of it was also that I was shooting it before it could get its um, its attacks off. So sometimes that stopped its attacks, but sometimes that just threw it off so that it would shoot beside me instead of shooting at me. Done. No more lures. Now about this workshop. If that makes sense. Like, I, I don't know, that's good to know, because I don't know if I've noticed myself shooting, um, t shooting guys and throwing them off like that before. Like, that seemed kind of different, um, but, uh, but that was a very satisfying gameplay experience. Yeah, the shock resist definitely did make a difference. Also, the fact that I used my, like, these super, the yellow potions, the yellow potions helped, um, no question. But I just also took less damage overall because I was doing better. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, well, that was satisfying. I also spent less time trying to knock parts off, and I just focused on can I do as much damage as possible if I hit it where it takes damage. And it... So I get the feeling that the storm birds, and I don't know what... I don't know what real-world birds the storm birds are based on, um, but I get the feeling that whatever they are, they're used to being the aggressor. There is nothing defensive about the way they play. So, like, when they face you and they square their chest at you because they're about to explode you... Like, they're vulnerable in that moment. They're extremely vulnerable. Like, that is why I took that guy down. So many of the shots that I did were because it was presenting itself to me, all getting ready to shoot me. Um, and, uh, and it's because they're not, they're not used to, um, 
being attacked, you know? Like these other creatures have defensive patterns. Storm birds don't have defensive patterns, really. Like they'll swoop away and kind of be like, huh? But but for the most part, like they don't try to avoid you. They just try to kill you. And it's interesting how that like that the, they they come across like they're like the the apex predator <laughs> type. Um, how that comes through in their behavior and their actions. Um, and I, I don't mean like what was inspiring, like what what mythological beast um, inspired the idea of having a giant lightning bird. But um, all of the creatures have been based physically on some actual creature that existed. Um, and we even know now that Gaia did that intentionally. Um, so uh, the storm birds might be, and please forgive me for my mispronunciation, they may very well be inspired by Quetzalcoatl, which is appropriate, um, I think. Um, but the, the, the physical design and the movements will have been based on some sort of real world creature, um, whether it's a a historical like ancient creature or not um but it really feels like a like it looks it looks like a bird but just, i wonder what predator bird was that you know what what uh real world raptors behavior was the basis for the storm bird if anybody knows and it's not a spoiler of any sort let me know i'm curious because i don't know that our, our, if eagles are particularly that i don't know if it's some sort of i don't i don't know i don't know so now we're going to investigate these things that are just kind of strewn around, summoning a storm bird of all things. Like that's big bad news. Like, do we believe this idiot, this idiot Karja dude, that he found some stuff in a workshop and ran away? Is this Durval's secret workshop where he's manufact was manufacturing super evil things? I don't know. Well, we'll find out, I suppose. If it was Durval's, that'll tie it back to the main story quest, which would be really interesting. Okay, notes. I'm going to read this out loud. Parchment ink. Many pages are filled with erratic handwriting. Let's see if we can, uh, we can read it. Inspect so notes. Durval was behind these lures. Oh. Brilliant. And dangerous. Oh. Now to bring word back to Pitchcliff. So it's Durval himself. Let's see if we can view this. Tattered letter. A slip of parchment with scrawled glyphs. Dearest cogs and puppets, you miserable bungs have failed to find me again. Your attempts to capture me would make me laugh if I weren't so busy running circles around you and your so-called intelligence gathering. Just give up, or better, better yet, kill yourselves and save me the effort, you worthless slags. Never yours, Durval. He's such a charmer. Yeah, no, it, it makes sense. It makes sense for it to be Durval, um, but again, notably, because Durval played such an essential part in the um, in the Karja storyline, by bringing him up into what is presumably going to be the Osram storyline, if there is one, um, it ties it to the Karja storyline, which indicates to me that this has the potential to be pretty important story stuff, you know? Um, so this this could be something of consequence instead of just some random side quest, which is kind of what I was hoping. Either emotional or main story-ish. Main story feeling stuff. Um, I do like, by the way, that I was able to get the trophies um, without having to do go kill stuff sideways. Chrono, I fought a storm bird. I killed it on the second try. I would have killed it on the first try, but I accidentally yeeted myself off a cliff. <laughs> I'm doing fine. Durval summoned. So it's interesting that Durval had these traps. So these are old things because Durval is in jail now. So this is going to tie back to Meridian though because Durval is... Well, no, no. Durval, is he still in Meridian or did he get delivered to the Osram yet? I'm trying to remember. I'm sorry. My memory is partially better, but it's not all the way better. Okay, there's a way to get down. I am actually not advancing the main plot, but I kind of had a bit of a hunch that following this side quest would advance a main feeling side story the way that the uh, Karja political situation and rescuing Avod's little brother was side stories. So I think so because, because we found this thing and it is Durval made it. 
And so I'm kind of wondering if we're bringing Durval back, either this is just a little like nod to it, or there's going to be something more significant. Um, but we'll find out. We're going to go turn this into Pitchcliff now. And I'm curious about this Karja idiot who brought the lures into Pitchcliff to begin with. Because um, Durval certainly wouldn't be working with him, but um, I don't know. Let's do this. Unless I think that there's something else I can, I can discover by looking around here. It's another one of those guys. See, now I'm like slightly more fearless. So I've now brought down one of those guys legitimately and also brought down a couple of uh, T-Rexes. I totally did not go up this mountain the way I'm supposed to though. That's why, by the way, the ascent to the mountain, there's like an entire one of these that I just plain didn't go to. I did, and I did in fact get the, um, I got the thing, um, I got the trophy, so I can just go turn that quest into the lodge. So it's nice of them to make it so you can kill two birds with one stone. Yes, that's right. I, I saw you make that comment earlier. Was that you, Blue Glass? Are you the one that I have to blame for pointing that out? See, since we, we, we did in fact kill a bird. I can't take credit for that one or else you can't blame me for that. Either way, it's not happening. All right, so they're way around here. It does appear to be. There's red grass, which makes me feel like I should probably stealthy stealth. But I see nothing to stealthy stealth from. Oh, oh, Psh, scrappers. Oh, other people. Okay, sorry, blue glass. <laughs> well, cyber. The thing is, again, I'm not. I'm not necessarily saying what their inspiration was, but um, what did they look at for behavioral patterns and physical design? Um, like, where did they, like, what, what real world creatures inspired the way it flaps its wings and the way it moves and that sort of thing? Because obviously, like, you know, you could just make stuff up. People make stuff up all the time, but even made up creatures a lot of times are based on real world creatures. So, for example, um, uh, Studio Ghibli studying, I think, a dog's mouth for, uh, for a dragon and so on. Um... But in the case of this especially, what is, where am I? What is this? What are you? A dead ravager and some healing items. Yeah, I'm, I'm wondering if there's a particular bird that a person who knows birds, looking at the movement pattern and design of that guy that I just fought would be like, oh yeah, that's actually, that's probably some kind of an eagle. You know, that sort of thing. Because I, I get the Scrabbling feeling that there's an answer to that. Can I... This thing is interesting, and I want to investigate, so I'm going to probably regret this. Okay, this is the jump button. Yeah! Did you see that? Did you see that? Did you see me? Did you see me do that? Did you see that? Did you see that? Are you impressed? Did you see that? Did you see what I just did? That's more impressive to me than the fact that I just fought a storm bird. <laughs> I saw some healing items over here, which is part of why we're over here. The scrappers are here to collect some salvage. Cool. Okay. I'm going to take this off the Ravager first. Where are the scrappers? Oh man. Sorry guys, I already took it. You can't get it. They run off. All right, bye. Bye fellas. Thanks for joining. There are concept art books actually cuz my uh my roommate was really excited that they're going to have the uh the new uh the, the second games one just got announced. Okay, I'm going to override you. Okay, go beat up your friends. Yeah, thank you. Oh my god, he's doing flips at them. Oh my god, my guy! 
Oh my guy is going down. No my no my guy's doing fine actually, okay. Oh shoot, I got hit. I I love that I got hurt like by accident there, like kind of like as a sideways thing. Like they didn't even attack me. I just Dude! He just like took them all right out. Thank you, friend. Thank you. Good job, friend. You are good. Good, good pal. Oh, excuse me? Are you taking the things? I mean, to be fair, they were your kill. But still. Those little guys just chilling. Okay. All right, little guy. You gonna do your thing? Still got some time? Oh, fire kill him, Root. I feel like that should be a swear that's not a swear. You know? Like, oh, fudge. Because I wind up saying it like I'm swearing often enough. What is that over there? Ravagers. Okay. Maybe I don't want to go this way badly enough. I just, I'm curious about what these, these things are here, you know? Maybe I'll just teleport back. I wanted to see if there's anything worth doing here. It didn't really seem like there's any thing particularly exciting so we'll just teleport back <sighs> I don't think that fire kill roots would be a fictional swear within the context of this world I'm pretty sure I am the only person in the world who hates fire kill root is there anyone else perhaps some of you all right I have to turn in a quest to oh the world's least invested mayor I think. Let's see if I can figure out how to get to him. The answer is no. No, I can't because you have to jump up a ladder or something. Here we go. Here's the ladder you have to jump up. I really had a hard time. They really should fix this. This really seems like a poor design decision. It's certainly not, um, certainly not accessible. Okay. Hello, friend. Did you see me take on the Stormbird? Were you impressed? I was impressed with myself. I, 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 I once I, I had to change my tactic and once I did it, it was, it was very effective. All right, let's turn this into this guy and be like, so it's your own homegrown terrorists for fault rather than the Karcha. You'll be happy to know I found another one of those lures and destroyed it. Should be the last you'll hear of it. <laughs> By fire and spit, you went above and beyond. How do you know there won't be any more? The workshop where I found it was long abandoned. You're safe. Good. My troops want to spit and shake your hand, as my brother would have. On behalf of Pitchcliffe and my family, I thank you. Okay. Okay, I get this guy a little bit better now, actually. Um, I, I found him a bit off-putting at the beginning, I'm not gonna lie. But I do, I do get him. Okay, so he's like rough around, very rough around the edges. But he does love his people. He loves his family. He loves his, 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 uh, his town. And he takes his responsibility seriously. He just complains about it and is really not formal at all. So as far as you can get from the Karja. My suggestion? Keep an eye on those Karja. Yeah, there's definitely some bad news, Karja. Okay, so it turns out this quest actually didn't have any anything bigger than that but it did make me fight a storm bird and learn that i can do that and yeah i love the card of being like i bet the osram are going to let him off easy and i'm like uh, no no that is that isn't that is not how that's gonna happen sorry friends um okay so i guess we might as well continue the main story quest stuff then we can either try going across this way like we're supposed to and see what happens, unlock this right here and go this way, or we can teleport there. I kind of think, I, let's try going the way we haven't been. Maybe we'll discover more Osram things on the way. I could turn in the lodge thing. I suppose that's true. I have to go all the way to Meridian. That's okay. We can do that. There are several girlfriends. 
I'm not gonna lie, I really think that the spy is gonna gonna be my my uh Horizon Zero Dawn girlfriend of choice. Just cause like she's my favorite archetype. <laughs> she's a charming rogue with a heart of gold. So uh I know, I know everyone else can have Petra. She's 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 great. I do like her a lot. Um I want to help her def I want to help her defend her town and I appreciate the fact that So I think a so Aloy is extremely competent. She's extremely competent. She's very experienced and worldly for her age, but she's also she's very she's smart, she's clever, she's self-sufficient. She holds her own in conversations, especially in banter. But I do think that um, older women who can talk circles around her, I think, is a special weakness of hers. <laughs> Granted, there's only, like, really two of them that have shown up. Uh, but uh, that's still two. Um, and that would be that would be our, um, our Karja spy and, and, and Petra. Um, because they're both... Um, they're both quite a bit older and more worldly than she is. Although it, it was hilarious to me when uh, when this, uh, when Petra keeps giving Aloy trouble, like, like a hard time for being young and then Aloy like kind of was like, okay, well fine, I will rub you rub, rub your nose in that. Excuse me. And I actually thought it was, it was pretty funny. Um, it's like, oh, she's acclimating. She's getting used to, to that. Okay, not this one. Uh, this one, no? Errand? Is it errand? Oh, right. I was going to go do that. Never mind. I was going to go do that. Find the hunters. I guess we can do that. <laughs> Teb is adorable. I just don't see... I see more chemistry between her and, and Varl than I do between her and Teb. Teb is, Teb is like her awesome, her awesome BFF. And Varl, I think, is also an awesome BFF. I just, they have more, like, of, a, of an intense connection, you know? Let's see. Here. I guess I need to go turn this in. Whee! Teb is just, like, I don't know. kind of get ace vibes from Teb, and there's no real reason for it, but I do. I don't know. I don't know, man. I got, uh, I got no, uh, no real justification for that, but I think that's why my brain says no. Maybe ace arrow, I don't know. I don't know. Um, but I do, I like Teb a lot. I'm really glad that he survived. I was very concerned. Hello. Oh, I can't make you drop stuff. Good. Hello, let's see. Oh, 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 Leanne's gonna have something to say. And yeah, no, Aloy, I haven't really felt any chemistry between her and the dudes. The dudes have certainly wanted there to be chemistry, but it's mostly been like friends and bros and stuff. Um, and, and brothers. Because there's a difference between a bro and a brother, you know? It's not the same dynamic. Erend did really try. Avad also tried, but fortunately, like, Aloy is like. So this is projection and grief and not genuine and you need therapy. <laughs> you have trophies? I can hang on to them until the Sunhawk returns. No thanks. Where are Assis and Talana? Oh. Assis received word about Red Maw and rushed out. Talana found out a short time later and had to follow him. They both went alone? Assis left without his thrush. Talana did as well. No. Oh. I saw some outlanders follow after her. I wouldn't put it past a cease to try something underhanded to get the kill. Where have they gone? I have to help if I can. Hmm. You might be right. They've gone southeast, headed for the spear shafts. You'd better hurry. Oh, I don't like that place. Okay, well, I was just gonna turn these in, but, uh... Maybe upstairs. Oh, I'm sure he didn't, Chrono. I am positive that Ossis did not get the big kill that made him Sunhawk, and he doesn't want anyone to know. Um. 
Okay, so Talana, if there were some outlanders following her, it's possible that they were allies. It's also possible that they were hired to kill her because Asis is not above some shady actions. Okay, well, that, that this is happening. I really don't like Asis, and I do, I like, oh, stalkers. Well, you know, I fought stalkers before. I can do it again. This is probably a terrible idea. <sighs> yeah. We'll see what happens. We'll see if I actually follow through with this. I was gonna go help Petra's stuff, but I'm... Turns out that I'm just mad at Aussies. We're gonna see how long I can be motivated. Cause like, I hit a limit as far as like, there's a limit to how much I'm willing to deal with side questy stuff. I need motivation and boring side questy like things without, oh man, you ready to go fight some stalkers? Whatever. I fought stalkers before. I'll fight them again. What am I going to do? Get killed by stalkers? Maybe. Oh, it's you guys. Hello. Okay. Oh, I recognize this place. Oh, this is where I think I fought those other stalkers before. Okay, cool. Okay. I, I think I I think I know where I am, but I'm going to get some healing for the trail. Okay. Well, you know what? Whatever. What are you guys going to do? Blow me up? Oh, slow down. Yeah, we're gonna head right into a stalker site. Is this healing items? Yes. Cool. They're gonna sense me. I don't care. Well, you'll notice there's no way around it. You are going into the heart of a stalker site. However, note that in order to get this story, in order to unlock this story, you have to have fought multiple stalkers. You have to have fought a glint hawk. You have to have, or not glint hawk, a stormbird. Uh, oh shoot, yeah, that's what I figured. Yeah. This is what we're doing. Pay you. That sounds like her. Yep. I mean, do I have a time on it? Sorry. That was my friend that I was going after there. Oh no, you set me on fire, you jerk. Oh, okay. I actually maybe should try not to die. Oh, the sun set me on fire. That's not very nice of it. I should probably take these guys a little more seriously. And then again, why? There we go. Okay. I'm gonna get this stuff in case uh, they've got healing items, maybe? Okay, so there were a bunch of outlanders following her for a reason. They weren't even subtle. Like the fact that that like 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 li whatever his name was. Okay, that's gonna have healing items. The fact that like easy, easy. he was able to just like straight up say, "Oh, there were some guys following her." I'm just like, are you serious? They weren't even trying. They made no pretense of being. Hello, are you okay, friend? Well, we're gonna do this. We're gonna talk to her. Thank you. I should have seen this coming. 
Of course he would hire men to keep me from Red Moth. They died for his pride. Yes, of Where course. Where's Assis now? He's gone after Red Moth. This way. Hurry! Why I is Assis going after Red Maw alone? That's a good question. Vanity. He doesn't want to share credit for the kill with his brush. My sponsor did the same. Ah. Went after Red Maw alone out of pride. Even though he knew we needed to unseat Assis. Sorry, I just need some healing items. Because I'm going to go fight a Thunderjaw. I'm going to keep with her though because I'm probably not going to get attacked by a stalker while I'm hanging out with her. Probably? Maybe? No. Okay. I'm not sure where Assis and Redmaw went from here. I can follow their tracks. I have the power. Hello. All right. Assis and Redmaw, huh? Um, I guess, yeah, there's some uh, property damage here. Yeah, I guess I could see Red Maw tromping through some of these. Uh, if we see some trees knocked over. This way. Something. Red Maw destroyed these trees. Dead there. Okay. I see. I'm trying. Just wanted you with him. Ligon said he left word for you, but someone, probably a cease, neglected to share the news. Oh. He stole even that from me. Wow. Yeah, as that's... much as I'm glad to know what really happened, I fear we're too late. For Tarkas, I arrived in time to see him die from his wounds. And with my father, I didn't even get that. Where was Assis when your father passed? Watch him. He became Sunhawk that day. But won't even speak of the event that made it possible. But that all changes today. She'll be a much better Sunhawk. All right. I'm glad we're able to give her that closure. And these two definitely do feel like they are. They're on equal footing, you know? Like there's a... There he is. Red Maw. I don't know if I'm ready for this. Probably should have made more arrows. Cease is holding his own. Whatever. Dodge roll. He does look pretty cool in combat, but uh was was holding his own. <laughs> you ready? You ready for this, folks? Well, we have our work cut out for us. You ready? <laughs> Cause uh I should have probably made more arrows. Oh, look who's out of wire. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Sometimes these have wire. Probably should have checked that. Okay, I got a little bit of wire. Fire arrows don't use wire? Oh, do they not? Okay, good, because those those are those are things that will uh things that we'll need. Okay, there was some wire in there. Look. the gun. Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. No, this is not good. This is not good. No, 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 nope. Did I get the tail? No, I did not get the tail, but I tried. Okay, I did get the tail. Okay, phew. Okay, all right. Now we switch to a set him on fire. Disc launchers. 
I know, I know. I know. Can you dislaunch him for me? Oh jeez, oh jeez. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Watch out for the disc launcher! Oh, that's his disc launcher. Oh jeez, oh jeez. Disc launchers! Yes, 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 I know. Okay, 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 fine. Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez. Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez. Just a little bit more. Oh jeez. That was not a good idea, but... I don't know what all killed means. What does that mean? I love that I ran out of fire arrows just as I did that. And also I can't make, I guess I could make more. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe the other was- Hello there, beautiful. Oh, I didn't get the stuff from it. We make it. a great team. And now, you're the Sunhawk. Yeah. about that huh 
hold on. About that, what does that, what does she mean by that? Hold on, we're gonna have to get rid of some of these crummy ones. I just gonna have to get rid of some of the mediocre ones too, huh? What have I got too much of? Handling, handling, handling. Okay. Uh, got a lot of freeze. Uh, I do my best work when I'm a uh, <laughs> when I'm on edge, okay? Look. Oh, a corruptor heart. I've got a lot of these things, but not the one that I need. Alas. Wait, why can't I pick that up? Oh, I can. Okay. Was I super low at health? Uh, super low health? Because I knew that I was really close to taking it out, so I was kind of The fact that it's a... Uh... Was I supposed to... I guess I was probably supposed to use its guns against it. I don't do that, sorry. Okay, well I knew that it was really close and so I was making a, I was making a trade. Oh wow, I'm, I'm, I did not realize I was entirely out of healing uh, herbs. Okay, I probably should have switched over. That's why. I think I thought that I was healing. I need a potion. Well, it's okay. I did the right thing. Okay, well, we're gonna go get a little bit of healing. Aloy ate all the berries. <gasps> Fire kill root! See? Alright. Where did she go? Did she leave? Oh no, Asis is here, so she's checking on him. I'm trying to find some healing items because I'm low. Fire calibers, I hate you, fire calibers. Where? Where are they? Where did they go? Oh, there he is. He's all wounded up there. I'm a. Uh, I'm gonna. Oh, good. Thanks. Wonderful. Fantastic. That's absolutely what we wanted. Great. Happy. Happy to know that, uh, I mean, to be fair, I'm not, like, being quiet as I run around, but, like, that's stalker music, by the way, <laughs> is what the deal is. Talana, he's still alive. Out of the way, Nora Filth. You're done. The Lodge is finally free of your influence. Yep. I kept it alive in dark times. No. You buried it, along with my father's memory. I should have... I should have... What? I should have let you fight Redmore first, to soften him up. Damn. Is that... And then, and then he dies. Here lies the Sunhawk of the Hunter's Lodge. It's almost a shame. After all that, you're gonna weep for him. Oh, no. I just wish I could have seen his face when I succeeded him. <laughs> okay, then. Meet me back at the Hunter's Lodge, if you have the time. I have a feeling the new Sunhawk wants to welcome you. Yeah. They... They turned off the uh, stalkers because that would be bad for, for story scenes. We're gonna teleport away okay well that was an adventure let's uh let's go turn that in and buy some wire shall we yes her headdress does look like a bird i was i was just thinking actually in the in the forehead especially um yeah he the fact that he like he dies being like man i should have let this guy kill you to soften him up so that i could have won it's just so very him. He's so incredibly unlikable.
Her headdress is a bird. No, that's true. It, it is. And I'm going to try to buy wire. Thing is, if I'm not doing super intense long range fighting thing, then I can kind of get by with wire for a while because you do kind of get some as you go. It's only when I have multiple sniping situations in a row that I really have a problem. Wait. Are you guys making a reference to something? Share with the class, please. I'm really curious. Sophie, by the way, is hanging out here on my desk because it's it's warm. Did I? Hold on. I did. Let me turn the heater off while, while we wait on this. Sorry. Sorry, it got really cold. A meme? Okay. Yeah, I'm not a cool and hip with it kid, so. Oh man, I'm gonna tell my roommate that I took down Red Ma and I, uh, and I, uh, fought a Stormbird. Cause she'll, she'll have heard me yelping. And I'll be like, oh, that was when I fell off a cliff the first time I tried fighting the Stormbird, but then I went back. I didn't win against the Stormbird on the first try, unfortunately. Where's a, I guess anybody will sell me, right? Specialty Merchant Studios. Mm, yes. I remember you. Trade. Yes, yes. Trade. Can I buy regular stuff? No, I can't buy regular stuff from you. Okay. Well, that's fine. I will leave you to the hunt. Rugged? Well traveled? Yes. Where is a regular like person that I can buy stuff? Are you a regular merchant? You're a regular merchant. Yes, I'm going to buy. Hunter big game box. I don't think I will do that. No, thanks. Blue Gleam? I don't even know what Blue Gleam is. You're not a normal, you're not a normal merchant. I just want to buy wire. Oh, a mysterious box. Stranded figure, stranded shackles, and stranded necklace. Oh. Oh. That's interesting. An upcoming place will have the stranded necklace, I suppose, or else I missed it, but I don't think so. So I'll be looking for it. I might as well get this. Rock breaker lens. No, thanks. Sculptor. Dirty bolted, rusted bolts. Like, I don't know what those are. Dirty baskets. Process metal blocks. Ah. Slag shine glass. Oh, this is, this is where those other things are that you can turn in. Okay, I see. I have a lot of these, so I want to turn in one of these and see what happens. Okay. I don't know what any of this stuff is, but I'm, I'm intrigued. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to find a normal, a normal merchant, but uh, let's see, what do we get? The card to trader box, nothing super special. Outlaw dark box, rock bundle, cool, I've got rocks. Shock traps, rich meat, sure. Metal shards, yeah, sweet. Okay, cool. That's not the most useful thing that could ever have happened, but you know what? I've got all these traps. You can tell I don't use traps much. Okay. All right, well, where is my regular merchants? To loiter around here. To loiter around here. Where is a normal merchant? The one who doesn't have a star in their face? It's this one right here. Hold on. We're going to go here first. Yes, I did free Prince Edaman from the shutches, clutches of the shadow. Shadow throne? Is that what they said? All right. Regular merchant. Hello. You are a regular merchant. Yes, you are. 
Regular merchant. Hello, I'm going to buy so many wires. Where's my wires? 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 There we go. I'm just going to get so many of these because I need five of these in order to be able to make a pack of arrows. So we're just going to do this because I don't remember if there's another way of doing this that's faster. So we've got a lot of money. What else am I going to do with it? I'm going to put it into sniper arrows. That's what I'm going to do with it. All right. That'll probably do me for a while. Maybe. Uh, okay, we're good. All right, I'm gonna. Oh wait, wait, wait. Hold on. We let's let, let's be sad together. Can we be sad together? You ready to be sad together? <sighs> Should I just go hunt some bellowbacks? This late in the game, it seems like it would be silly. But I'm still using my medium level silent hunter. You know. Oh, that, that one's expensive. I've got that one already. I should probably just fight. I should probably just fight some bellowbacks. All right, anyway, I'm going to sell some junk. Ah, how beautiful. I have wire again. Fire kiln root. Go away, fire kiln root. Nobody likes you. Hold on, let's see. What do we got here? Got some hearts. Mm -hmm. Ancient charms. Do, 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 do. I don't have a lot of junk, do I? I have some junk, but not a lot. All right, I think I can probably... Okay, blaze I'm actually using. Uh, metal vessels, I don't remember what I need them for, but I think I've got a lot, so I think I can probably get rid of some of them. And then just chill water I don't use right now. Metal burn, I don't think I use right now either, so... Echo shells are useful. That's probably fair, Nick. Finish the Mewtwo armor quest indeed. I have to admit, it brings me great joy that when new people pop by and they hear me talk about, um, they hear me talk about the Mewtwo armor, there's always a moment of confusion and then they realize they know exactly what I'm talking about, you know? Yeah, I could probably stand to have five full stacks of wire oh this is not very good we're gonna get rid of that I guess we're gonna get rid of the blue stuff a lot now I don't even I don't I can't even use this stuff I'm hanging on to it but you think so puck I don't, I don't know, but, but for me, that's what it feels like. I just, I've never used corruption arrows as a thing, or corruption as a thing. Okay. Uh. Like these, like the resist things are useful. Freeze, damage, and corruption. I'll probably get rid of, yeah, I'm gonna get rid of this one. Fire and handling. This one's just is so bad on the fire that I'm going to get rid of it compared to that. Yeah, okay. Okay. All right, all right. This is looking much better. My stuff is looking much better, you know? Oh. These are almost... Okay, whatever. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah, yeah. Look at this inventory management. Aren't you proud of me? I'm proud of me. I could just sell a bunch of these traps and then get some traps of my inventory. My armors are still here, kitted up. For shock resistance. No, you're right. You're right. Hold on. We're going to go turn in. Turn in this quest and see what's up. Am I going the wrong way? No. I'm going the right way. Just go around this corner here. Yes. I'm almost learning my way around Meridian. Almost. 
Okay, we're gonna go talk to Mr. Dude at the door first. Hello. Let their memory and sacrifice be a beacon for all hunters and all people to follow. Where is she? Is she upstairs? See what everybody else has to say. Hello, are you gonna be a pain? Yeah. Trying to imagine a large room by Talana. Not sure how I feel about that. You'll get used to it. The Asuram that tried to kill our Sun King? You bagged the Stormbird the and the Thunderjaw? I guess I was all wrong about you. Okay, good. All right, that's what I was hoping for when I'm talking to these people. I was really hoping that they would change their tune, at least a little. <sighs> Can you imagine? Red Moth finally defeated. We're letting the Ocelon take your ball. Assis will take down Red Maw and remind everyone who's Sunhawk. Uh, no, actually, that that is not what happened. All right, sorry, I just wanted to talk to everybody. See what they have to say. Yes, he's a little behind the times. Even money that Assis kills Redmaw while Talana's still tying her boots. Ha. Huh. Talana wants it more. She's going to bring down Redmaw for sure. I do like that they are showing that like people have have conflicted and different opinions you know like you have some people on one side some people on another side some people being petty about it i just don't see how talana can win assis must have gotten there first okay so yeah so these are people like if if i were to have talked to people in here before oh hello can i come back here hello like or this girl could be my uh my horizon zero dawn girlfriend what can i do for you today that'd be fine how are the trials going for you? Have enough marks for a weapon yet? I'm a little short on marks. No problem. Once you have marks from all 15 trials, you'll be able to get the next Hunter's Lodge weapon from me. Ah, oh, I love how it resets me here. <laughs> like, you don't go behind the counter, Lauren. I'm like, oh yeah? Yeah, yeah. Okay, did I speak to everyone down here? Yes, I did. Unless you got something else to say here, buddy. The Sunhawk has your trophies upstairs. <laughs> All right. Oh wait, there's another. Uh, I'm sensing. I'm sensing lore. I'm sensing lore. Hold on. Hold on, Talana. I know that you want me to come save the day with you, but record of Red Maw Two, a scroll of parchment with glyphs in fresh ink. You ready for this? Ah. <sighs> Amendment to the record of Redmaw by inquiring Jendinaman, historian in residence at the Hunter's Lodge. In time, all creatures fall, all legends fade away. Such it was with Redmaw, deadliest of Thunderjaws. In the summer of the third year of the reign of the Sun King Avad, Sunhawk Assis received word of a sighting and set out after the beast. Talana, hawk of the lodge, went soon after, quickly followed by her thrush, Aloy of the Nora. Fearing Talana might take Redmaw first and thus supplant him as sun hawk, Assis resorted to treachery, laying a trap for the hawk. Nine mercenaries ambushed her, but aided by her thrush, Talana defeated them all. Six shot, three blasted. Hawk and Thrush continued after Redmaw, arriving just as the legendary monster took Sunhawk Assis out of the fight, Lash of the Tail. Working together, the two women finally defeated Redmaw in a fight for the ages. Alas, the wounds that Assis sustained were mortal, crushed internal organs, evidence of bowel failure, and he did not live to see Talana take his place as Sunhawk. So ends the record of Redmaw, most murderous of machines. I'm well yeah so so there's a few things that are really interesting here that I, that I that I have to comment on. Um I appreciate that this is clearly um you know this makes it very clear that all of the story has has been uh 
has been uh, has been recorded for posterity. Um, and we, we know because so much of this game is about the words that are left behind that like the way the story is told is important. So there is significance to making sure that that the story that that goes on record is, is correct. So this is yes, this is a truthful history. Um, no, it doesn't seem that the person who wrote this was particularly fond of um, was particularly fond of us. These um, but worth worth in, worth noting. Um, it's interesting. We noticed in the, the previous record of Red Maw that when it describes in parentheses how everyone dies, um, it's just kind of terrible. Um, like like oh ooh, ooh, that's bad. Um, it's interesting to see that happening in here. Like that's clearly the way that records of great battles are, are kept in the sun or in the in the um, the Hunter's Lodge specifically. I wonder if the um, the way that uh, the mercenaries die. Well, no, 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 no. Uh, they did not all die from being shot. I know for a fact they did not all die from being shot because I hit them really hard with my spear. I just went in there and did the heavy attack a bunch and then I accidentally tried to heavy attack at Talana. And it was only after that that I started shooting people. So I'm pretty sure um, that uh, six shot, three blasted is in there regardless of what you do. Um, because I don't think that's how they died. Um, but that would have been interesting if that were the case. Um, well, so it was written as an objective listing of facts, but the crushed internal organs, comma, evidence of bowel failure. Part of that is a little bit of pettiness on behalf of the game writers, um, because they, they know you're not going to like Ossies. They've created Ossies for you to not like him. Um, and so you like, kind of like, <laughs> um, but also, um, that detail didn't have to be included, you know? Um, that is a detail, presumably, that Talana mentioned and it got written here because th I imagine the person was not overly fond of him. I mean, this may be neutral, but this is certainly not somebody who was positively inclined toward him. But yes, supposed to be like, oh, he was so scared he pooped his pants. That is, that is what that means. In case anybody, for example, um, like is, you know, English is not your first language or something, and that's not a, a phrase that you've encountered often. That's, that's what that means. <laughs> that he pooped his pants. Um, it's very clinical, but the way that they describe these things is clinical. But it's not, it's not like a, they're, well, they're not documenting things for the same reason that we would document, like that a mortician would document something. In the case of, uh, the Hunter's Lodge, their records are meant to detail um, combat and victory and failure. And so they, because they're, they're the only ones that, that write like that. Um, and so if they were to describe a battle, they would, they would have to describe how, how many people died and how they died. That's, that's, that's just part of the, the tallying of things. Um, so it doesn't feel, it doesn't feel clinical in like a literal, literally clinical sort of way. It feels, it feels like, like a cold descriptive thing, but it's more like in a, the Iliad when it just starts listing off how many guys there were and how many spears they had and how many horses or whatever. Um, it's just, it's just inventory. It's just inventory. So it's, it's, that's what they're keeping track of. But yeah, so this, uh, this definitely, uh, means that we don't have to worry about the record being contaminated and it's neat to, to see like that Talana made a point of making sure that Aloy got the full amount of credit you know um, so yeah let's do this we have only one scanned glyph le left to go I feel, feel like I've done pretty well then with getting um with getting these optional things. Because the only other text data point machines that I don't have, these are the three um, cauldrons that I'm missing. And then this is the, we're coming on, click getting fairly close, I think, to the end of the main story, which is what this is, um, and this. But uh, I guess we'll have a, probably a bunch of audio actually now that I think about it. All right, Puck, we'll see you later. Enjoy your food. Yeah, we're doing, we're making pretty good progress though. 70% of the way done with the game. Well, that was nice. Let's go talk to Talana, shall we? Let me turn the volume back up. That song is very loud, but I would like to hear what Talana has to say. Oh, the sun came up while I was reading that. 
Hello, Talana. Look. A memorial to my father and brother, and all the men who died in the Sunring. You made this possible, Aloy. Thank you. I like that it is so important to people in this game world um, to have memorials um, for the people that they love and records because so much of this game is about having is about leaving those 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 memories and those stories and how the people that we love can live on if we tell their stories you know just through and through that's that's a big concern of Aloy's um, obviously it was the concern of our tour guide it's a motivation for Talana that people weren't telling the story of her father and her brother and those who fell in the ring and that that was a problem like it's it's obviously not going to bring them back if the story is told but that's still important to have the story told it's interesting not all cultures I think would necessarily have that as a priority many would um, but let's ask her some questions shall we so What's it like to be Sunhawk? <laughs> it feels like sunrise after a long night. <laughs> I'm in your debt. You'll always have a special home here. If you want it. Good. I'm glad. She She's a little bit young and a little inexperienced, but she'll fill that in. Um, and she'll be a good Sunhawk. And if somebody comes and takes the claim from her, um, by then I think she'll have established enough... Uh, like the lodge will have become a good enough place that if somebody if somebody rises up and 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 earns a trophy to become Sunhawk after her, most likely they'll be you know roughly within the same moral territory as her, um, and and do it fairly. I I feel. What happens now in the lodge? As Sunhawk, I've made sure we invite prospective members based on ability and drive, regardless of Karja blood. This lodge will be a stale bastion of the old regime no longer. Okay, good. What was that prayer you were saying when I first came in? I didn't hear all of it. Oh, great sun. Make treaty with the moon to give our fallen quiet rest. Burnish them with the armor of your brazen heat. Give them shafts of sunlight for spears. Illuminate the path to the skies. For each one of them. Hawk Gravid Khan Morza. Hawk Sarav Khan Pir. Hawk Yusalin Karn Jagir. Hawk Kulasiv Khan Savali. Hawk Bradavin Khan Padish, cherished brother. And Sun Hawk Talavad Khan Padish, beloved father. Let their memory and sacrifice be a beacon for all hunters, all people, to follow. That's a good prayer. I like the idea of the sun making a treaty with the moon. I guess the moon is the territory of the of the fallen in some way. I'm not sure. And I do agree Legon will probably be a good uh, advisor to, uh, to help her. Uh, if she, if she, if her relative youth and inexperience winds up being a bit of a problem. But she is clearly very competent and capable. She knows what she's doing. The fact that her father was Sunhawk, her brother was a hawk, her family's been involved with this, and not in a, like, well, for generations, my noble family of Karja blood have been... No, it's like they, they were really serious about the Hunter's Lodge and doing right by it, and so she has grown up her whole life hearing about it, knowing about it, valuing it. Um, so that I think will mean a lot. Well, congratulations, Talana. I should get going. Thank you, Aloy. Despite the Nora. <laughs> <laughs> May you always take your prey. That was really... I, I liked that. That was a nice and lovely ending. Like, the two of them did not... Like, they didn't become BFFs. Like... They don't have a deeply emotional... <sighs> They're friends. They're friends, they understand each other. They have some similar experiences and some similar outlooks. So th 
I have skill points. Oh, I have probably a bunch of skill points. No, they didn't. Well, they didn't hit on each other, but like that, that doesn't actually. That's like. I don't. I don't know if that's if that's if that's if that's a, a joke or if you're making fun of me there, but um, like there have been characters that Aloy has had what felt like a deeper uh, emotional connection to, like her interactions with Sona, for example. Um, there's, there's been a. Like, like, she has... Aloy has a connection to Sona and Varl. Um, and then part of that, obviously, is the... You know, they're from the same people. Um, the loss of, at the Proving was very personal for them, etc. But but also, like, just the way that she connects with them is a, is, is on, I think, a, a, different, a different level. Whereas, I, I really like her friendship with Talana a lot. It feels very like natural and comfortable and easy like they, they get each other they're um they're they're i don't know a lot of the people that she befriends it feels like she befriends them because of circumstance um and it feels like she befriends them because of like kind of larger than life you know shared experiences um, getting caught up in something grander. Um, as much as, like, she helps Talana with a big thing, like, honestly, Talana just feels like somebody that Aloy could have just run into and just been friends with. Like, oh, we just really hit it off, and we're pals, and we hang out with each other. Um, and, and, and there's not an intensity of, cl or, or closeness, necessarily, um, but it's, it's really good, like, it feels like, a, like, they're the sort of friends that can call on each other for anything and if one of them is in the area then they'll absolutely go look the other one up and hang out and it'll be like they haven't missed any time um so i like that i like that just like the way that aloy talks to her is is probably about as comfortable as i've ever seen aloy be um but it but it feels like uh it just it feels like just a just a solid friendship so I'm pretty sure that I cannot actually go befriend or go check on um, Avad or Edaman. I would really like to. I don't like the fact that they've just disappeared, but you know. Let's have a chat. No, a colorful discussion. It happens. Okay. Before I go spend another 10 minutes running around trying to find my way and failing to find anything here. So we can now make arrows again. I should probably get some healing items, but you know, we, we did that. You know, there's still a, I should probably go do that at some point. Um, so there's the bitter climb, which is a big deal. We can also go find your girlfriends. Uh, we can go find your girlfriend's people and fight some big things. Uh, what's the closest way to get here? Here? Is there a reason why? Oh, I guess we'll go that way. I didn't... There's a bunch of these that I didn't activate, huh? Yeah, this is definitely Ostrom territory. Hmm. Okay. Well, shall we teleport here then and, uh... See what happens. I should probably make more... <laughs> I should probably make more, uh... Make more arrows. Yeah, so this apparently is just a stream where we wrap up some smaller plot threads and then we'll, uh... Go do the next main story quest thing next week. How does that sound? Unless, because I, I thought that they were going to give me something that was like a major awesome plot, and I, I'm I'm not I'm not sure that they are. I, I, I'm that's a little bit disappointing, um, because I would like to have more experience with the awesome as a people. Like like I said, like we have had awesome characters like Erend and his uh and his sister, um, but we haven't really like gone into like the big ashram city and gotten to know the ashram and how they do things and what their issues are and get all involved and invested in their interpersonal dramas <laughs> well you know whisker pixel though i did actually play through a lot of main story stuff i did just uh it's a uh, it's been a minute all right, this looks like healing items. Please be a healing item. Yes, a medicinal hinter gold. All right, where am I going? 
we go through here, then we can maybe find a metal flower. But yes, you can count on me. Am I going the right way? No, I'm going the wrong way. You can count on me to try to explore things fully. To be invested in. Oh, you know what I should save? Did I save? Did I save? I don't know if I saved. Let's save. Oh, I'm about to get another level, aren't I? Oh, that's good. It feels like Osram territory to me. There's a lot of Osram. Okay, let's see. Hold on. Looking around here, it looks like in order to get to the metal flower, I'm going to have to actually go around up the north. All right. We're going to creep around here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I can climb up this, can't I? Did you see that? Did you see me recognize that I could climb up something? Aren't you proud of me? I'm proud of me. That's Sophie knocking things around on my desk. Thank you, Sophie girl. I saw a climbable. I'm very proud of myself. That's Sophie knocking more things off of my desk. That's Sophie continuing to knock things off my desk. She's a good girl. I have learned to get better at this video game the more I played it. Oh, there's a piggy. Hello, piggy. All right, so somewhere in this vicinity is a metal flower. What is this? Oops. There's the metal flower. Okay. Then I guess I'm gonna have to climb up this thing right here and see if I can find it. Okay. I can do that. Hello, bunny bun bun. Oh. There's a critter. Oh. Oh, there's my metal flower. Okay, that's what was making noise. Okay. Let's take a look at another bit of poetry. All right. I saw a mountain, its haughty peak and bunched spine vying with the world on high, deflecting every salvo of the wind and shouldering the starlight from the sky, brooding above the dunes like some great thinker considering days to come as nights go by, with black clouds wrapped around about it for a turban and bangs of redhead lightning in its face. And through the night, that tongueless mountain uttered marvelous things. I saw a mountain deflecting the wind, shouldering the starlight from the sky. That's beautiful. That is just such a beautifully written poem. Wow, it is beautiful, 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 beautiful. Yeah, having turban does kind of place culturally. Um, but so that means that at least several of these are from similar regions of the world, as I understand it. But these were not being gathered by the woman who was in charge of uh, Apollo, were they? These would have been gathered by whoever was in charge of Demeter. Yes? Where is... There we go. No, that's not. Where am I going? Where am I going? No. I want to go here. Mark it. They've been... Oops. Okay, let's go around this way. Alright, so I think I want to be up there. What's the best way to do this going to be? We're going to take a look around here. Figure it out. Okay. There's you. 
But are there any bigger, badder problems? Or is it just you? Because if it's just you, I can take you out, no problem. I'm just gonna snipe you. Oh, so there are attributions for the haiku. Interesting, because I, uh, I wondered about that, you know? Um, I wondered if the haiku had, uh, because initially I thought that the haiku were written by whomever, uh, was leaving the flowers. And now, and then when I discovered the, uh, the Mark III flowers, you know, you realize that's not the case, which is very, very interesting. Um, and so I kind of wondered if you were to go back and look up the haiku, if they would also be sighting will be easy in the snow taking taken from something and then the answer is yes oh I don't want to just jump off this cliff that, that would probably not be a good idea oh how do I get down it's gotta be a way down in theory in real life, that would be enough of an overhang to count as a cave, and my little brain would be really sad. Wait, what am I sensing? Where's the bad guy? Where's the bad guy? You're over there. Shh, you're fine. You're fine, buddy. You're fine. We're good. How do I get down here? Oh, okay. Probably get some healing items. I'm. I feel like the the poetry is prevalent enough that I'm not surprised somebody went and looked it all up and documented it, because it it it's it's interesting. Oh my god! I just really wonder what was going on in Hades that day. For anyone, uh, the 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 quote that just got pulled up was this game just got 100% more gay and it is attributed to playing Hades. Which is a pretty pretty gay game, not gonna lie. All right, where am I? Why are there no healing items? I don't like this. I don't like it at all. There are definitely places that have more healing items and places that have fewer. No question. Like, the Nora area tends to have a lot more medicinal berries. This giant bird over there. Oh, this music. Oh, it's so haunting and lonely. Oh, yes. I mean, technically, Hades is, is very, uh, is very, very bi. Um, but, uh, Sometimes we just say gay to refer to queer. I don't know why. Perhaps that originated when the term was being reclaimed. I got us this far. You had us wandering for hours. That's because I couldn't concentrate with you hammering on. Oh, you kept asking me questions. When did I start smithing? Had I ever seen the elevator at Meridian? <laughs> if Caleb had been here, we'd have found the herd. I, I would have taken it down and we'd be halfway back to Freehaven. You want to go back? Fine. I don't even know why I'm here. I don't either. I got us this far. Okay, they're kidding. I've seen this arch hours. before. I feel like this arch That's is. Because I couldn't concentrate with you hammering off. I'm gonna have to fight some things with no oh, healing. Asking me questions. Just what I'm looking for. When did I start smithing? All right. Have I ever seen the elevator at Meridian? Hello. If someone's coming. Yes, that's right. Someone's coming. Someone is here. Hello. Are you Jaw Grease and Balaja? Caleb sent me to look for you. He did. Now Petra must know we lost the herd. No, I lost it. I don't care who lost it. Just, why don't I track it down for you? I, I couldn't let you do that. It was my responsibility, not yours or his. We saw three behemoths and some shell walkers in the herd. It won't be easy alone. 
As long as I won't get them killed. I think it would be good for them. I think it would be good for everyone if they get involved. All right. Where did you last see the herd? Up Richard. on that ridge. We'll follow you. Wait. Take these arrows for the hunt. Thank you. Let's go. This is probably a bad idea. How many more hours of this I gotta take? Oh, man. Twitch wants me to let you know that if you are enjoying yourselves, you should drop me a follow because I play Horizon Zero Dawn every Thursday, not Thursday, Tuesday, every Tuesday at around this time. And, uh, yeah. Always, no. No, it's trying to send me back to, no. Search for the convoy's tracks. That's what we're doing. So, I'm, uh, I'm going to tell you the thing that Twitch told me to do. Because I'm not very good about reminding folks about things. Oh man, so I got an exciting um, stream upgrade coming soon. In fact, it might be here already. Um, I, I got uh, a... What's it called? Um, a stream deck. So I don't know exactly what we're going to be able to do with it. Because you can do a lot of things with it. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with it. But I'm also probably gonna get new overlays. Could be something around that my focus will see. So we might have a slightly Found less some tracks. This way. sloppy looking stream at one of one of these days. Maybe. Alright. We follow the convoy. Let's try not to mess this up. I would really like to get more healing items along the way. Watch this be fire kill nerd. Fire kiln root. I'm gonna say it with absolute derision. Fire kiln root. To be honest, I would have followed these tracks in a circle. <laughs> it's interesting to hear him owning his mistakes. Yeah, I feel like I've seen that arch before. I feel like I've drawn that arch before. I feel like I used that as a reference for a picture that I drew. God, the music is so, so lonely here. Why aren't you asking her a thousand huh. questions? Why would I? So you only question what I'm doing. Lucky me. Can we focus on the hunt? Okay. I guess these two have got to get get it out of their system. Presumably they will uh, make out and then it'll be okay and they can stand each other's company. Oh, look at that. Hold on. I'm veering off of the trail to go get whatever this is because it's green. Yes, he's trying to flirt and he's not Did good at it. Her fire arrows or the regulars? I thought you preferred it. By fire and spit, Jorgree, stop asking questions! Oh. I'm about to spit fire. He asks questions because he likes you. He lost the herd to spend more time with you. And Jagris is here instead of Caliph because you wanted to spend more time with him. Now let's get this herd. Okay. Uh, yes, ma'am. Aloy? Aloy, Aloy, Aloy is like, this whole courtship flirtation banter insult fighting thing is not, that's not her jam. All right. Well, I've gotten a little bit more healing items. So that's something. Bakiza, thank you for following, friend. Oh, rocks. I gonna need rocks. I'm gonna rock out. Yeah, sorry. Sorry. Man. We sure are following this trail. I want healing items and I think this is I think this is an herb. Sorry, we just we need some we need some berries. They do tend to be around water. You know what else is around water? Snap. Know when I might need these. Not a big fan of those guys. But I suppose I can take them. I'm high enough level that I can probably take them. 
I can take lots of things, including apparently storm birds. So that's exciting. Okay, I don't know that I know Skyrim style courting. Like I've said, even though I make reference to the Skyrim horsey jumping up mountains, my own Skyrim experience is pretty minimal. All right, they are in fact giving me a chance to replenish my my berries. Get ready. Where? What am I supposed to do? Gather behemoth cables? I'm not quite sure what I'm supposed to do. I'm not sure what my getting ready is supposed to look like. What are we doing? Where are we? Hold on. I'm going to read the instructions here because I do not find this very clear. Gather behemoth cables. I assume that means we're supposed to kill some behemoths. But like, are they... Are they coming? Are we coming upon them? I don't know. Oh, there they are. Found them. Okay. Oh, actually, probably I should have done this. Well, the thing is, they probably wouldn't get together if Aloy didn't, like, do her thing. But, okay. What am I, what am I gonna do? Okay, let's figure this out. Okay. Freeze canister, force loader. Shell walker, sweet. I feel like I probably should have like, I don't know. There's a, there's some fireplaces around here. I don't know, why is, I don't know. I'm, you know, whatever, whatever, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine. All right, so what we can do, how many we got? One, two, three. That's what we want. I just don't really want to die, and I don't know that I have enough healing items to take these guys out once. Okay, you're just a birdie. There's a shell walker. There's a behemoth, and maybe another behemoth. I'm, just, I'm trying to figure out strategically what I'm supposed to do. Because, like, I could... Oh, there's three of them. Okay. I could put some traps down. Here. I don't know. This seems like a good idea. Maybe it's a bad idea. It could be a really bad idea. But I've got like approximately a million of them. So I might as well. So these guys, if I remember correctly, will, uh, what's the word? They throw, they're scary if I remember correctly. Okay. So we've set we've set up some traps. Now we're going to uh this might be a bad idea. Are you ready for me to have a bad idea? I hope I don't get these two idiots killed. All right, idiots, you ready? You ready, idiots? That's not very nice of me. Ah, come on. Is that too far? Okay, fine. Fine. Okay. All right. Wait, no. Okay, crate holders. Force loader. Force loader. Those sound like things I would probably want to hit. Power cell. Oh, they're strong to electricity. Okay, well, whatever. Let's see how this goes.
I'm gonna die. Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez. I have like no healing items. I should probably take this one at a time. Fire is good. Oops. Goodness, 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 goodness gracious. Fire is really useful. Did you know that? Okay, you're on fire. The thing about being on fire is that they take damage while they're on fire. But you don't have to do. Oops. Okay. Well, that's good. I don't know if I did that right. Oh wait, there's somebody else over there. Shell walkers. Okay, hold on. Well, shell walkers, too bad you're not getting this. I'm getting this. Oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot. Those guys are scary. Okay. All right. That's that one's down. There's another one over there. Well, that's fine. That's fine. Whatever. Okay. Got some behemoth cables. I don't know if I got enough behemoth cables. How many did I get? Six out of nine. Okay. Hold on. Oh, this guy's going to have the last of them because he's the last of the behemoths. We did okay there, didn't we? We did it. We could, we could totally take out, take over some of those guys, huh? Talk to the hunters that are running that way. All right, hunters. Do you really want to do this? Do you really want to do this, buddies? Are you sure? Okay, I mean, that guy's low on health, so there's that. All right. What are you doing, friends? This seems like a pretty bad idea, but whatever. Oh, please, I, I didn't know. I, I thought you were questioning what I was doing. Like I had to defend myself. I would never. I, I just wanted to know more about you. I like the sound of your voice. <laughs> Even when you're yelling. <laughs> Sorry about that. I didn't mind all the questions. It 
kind of sweet, actually. Just not when we're hunting. Oh my god. Okay. Alright, you two ready to do some more hunting? Because uh, apparently that's what we're going to do. Apparently. I should probably buy more stuff. Ready or not. Goodness gracious. That guy took that guy out. Or that took that guy out. I didn't realize you could just like blow them up like that. Hello. Goodbye. I guess they all blow up. No, they don't. Okay. Well, that's good. I'm glad they don't all blow up. Okay, well, we're gonna go get this stuff and uh, hopefully not die. Time for crab. Crab battle. <laughs> Sorry. Uh... There's gonna come a time when crab battle is gonna be old internet. Is it old internet? Is it old internet? I bet it's old internet already. Is it old internet? I bet it's old internet. Actually, I think I can remember. That was during my like, uh, convention hopping when I used to go sell, that's okay. I used to go sell artwork at conventions and hang out with friends. Like selling artwork at and tables at conventions was how I, afforded my uh convention going habit uh, which was really fun i got to go all over um went to a lot of places in the u.s and also in canada um a couple of times which was great fun um rocks yes uh but i remember being in a convention uh at a, at a in a hotel room with some friends and they showed me the crowd battle video if I remember correctly. That was some time ago. I haven't seen those people in a very long time, so. I guess I'm supposed to go turn that in, huh? Grazers? Hello, grazers. I'm sorry, but there's medicinal stuff here and I need it. So I'm getting it. I'll let you be in a bit. So is crab battle old internet that aged better than, um... Because I've noticed that not everybody knows Badger Mushroom, etc. these days. Um, like, younger people don't necessarily. But do younger people know Crab Battle? If you are younger people, um, you can confirm or deny this. That's fine. You don't also have to let us know how young you are. But I just, I wonder. All right. 2005. Oh, oh, that's a little ways ago, isn't it? Yeah, that would make sense. Oh wow, crab battle is almost as old as oh, that's interesting. That I wouldn't have a I wouldn't have expected crab battle to be about as old as Badger Badger. I, for some reason I thought that the Weeble Tunes or whatever they're called were when I was in high school, but they're not. Oh man, well yayfulness, I'm here. I'm here to uh, bring old internet to mind for you. Oh, hello. Ravagers, Shh, whatever, it's fine. I can I can handle this. I can just not fight them. Watch me not, not fight them. Yes. You have not heard of crab battle, okay. I hadn't even, okay, there's a lot of ominous music happening. Man, listen to the crazy fluting happening. Man. Saving these for the trail. I have decided, oh, what is that? Watcher. Psh. Okay, so watcher resources. Oh, hello, what are you? Is that a thing? Hold on, sorry. Oh, um, um, what are you? You're big. You're big. I think I did talk to the lovebird hunters and I think that we have to go turn in now. I thought. Okay, no. Nope. Nope, nope. 
nope, 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 nope. I think I won't. I think I won't. Oh, that's why I noped right out of that. Yeah, let's not do that. Ooh, errands, hammer and steel. Yes, map. Where does that go? Turn it back in? Where's... Uh, where is turn that? There's talk to the hunters. Okay. Oh, look at that. I, okay. We'll go, uh, we'll go do this. In the meantime, I will get some, uh, more, no, fire kiln root. Oh my God. That is, that is my, that is my, uh, my curse in this game. Golden Sun has good music. Golden Sun's music is written by Motoi Sakuraba, the same composer who uh, wrote the um, music I love so very much from Star Ocean and also Valkyrie Profile. Also, the same composer, apparently, who wrote Dark Souls. I will never get over that because Sakuraba's music tends to sound a bit samey, or at least it did for many years. So the fact that he wrote something that sounds like nothing like everything else that he wrote is just... Really quite impressive, if you ask me. Can't be too prepared. I don't know if he's still writing the Star Ocean music, because the last Star Ocean I liked was Star Ocean 3. I got, I, 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 uh, rage quit Star Ocean 4 for, uh, its sexualization of small children. Um, and, uh, oh, hello. You're not coming for me, are you? You're just, you're just on the prowl. You're not coming after me, right? Right, good. Um, and, uh, Star Ocean 4. Five. Even my sister, who's an obsessive Star Ocean fan, says it's a bad game. But Star Ocean 6 just came out, and she says that it is every bit as dumb and fun and, and charming and sometimes serious as you want from a Star Ocean game, so. I do want to play the rest of the Dark Souls games at some point. Maybe I'll stream them one of these days. Oh, hello. Whatever, you're fine. I can handle you. Oh, whoa, shoot. I guess I'm going to have to. Oh, shoot! That's a lot of things. Holy crap! Out of ammo. Shh. Oh my god, there's three of them. There's a fourth! There's more! What if I just didn't? Will they go away? Oh shoot! That's a cliff! Hold on. Is this where the rock breakers are? Just chill, just chill, just chill. Just chill, there's nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. Oh shoot, they see me. Nothing, no! They see me! That was so exciting. Oh, they're still here. Oh, I thought that. Well, whatever. Okay, that's fine. All right. Well, I thought. Never mind. This will help. We're fine. We're all good. Just leaving some really angry ravagers up there. Hello. We figured it out now. Beladja and I. How we're gonna be together? Okay. I'm so happy. I can't stop smiling. But I feel pretty silly after all this. I'm usually much more direct. Thanks for putting up with us. Could we take the cables back to Petra for you, or would you prefer to do it on your own? I would like to go talk to Petra, but I feel like it would be good for these people. Does this? Okay, hold on. Very quick. Chat hat question, yes or no. Does this affect the outcome of the story? Like, do things happen slightly differently? Whether you, uh, you take it back or they take it back? The chat hat is how you know that I'm actually asking a question. But it's a yes or no question. Oh. I do want to go back and talk to her, so okay. Let's do it. I'll take the cables to Petra. <laughs> you had enough of us already? We could use a bit more time alone with each ah, other. Okay. Thank you so much. And um, don't wait up. Oh, okay. All right. You crazy kids. I'm happy to be with her. 
Looking forward to quenching the forge. You're both gonna be okay, right? <laughs> yes. We just need some time together without talking this time. Oh shoot, oh no. Those guys are still after me. I hope that I don't bring those guys over here to kill you, you crazy lovebirds. Oh, did I not finish looting everything? I guess I didn't. All right, well, we'll do that. Oh, look at that wire, lovely, lovely. I thought I got everything, but I guess I didn't. Wait, did they like respawn their stuff? Forget about traveling light. I guess they did. Hold on. Uh, my goodness. Okay, I'm definitely going to be able to uh, get rid of some of these things. Man, okay, hold on. I'm pretty sure that they did respawn these, the, the, like, these things refilled their stuff. Hey, you know, if me running off like a maniac has this positive result, I'll take it. Okay, hold on. Uh, inventory. Modifications. Meh. Meh, 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 meh. There we go. Okay. Oh, is that what it was, blue glass? The loot respawned, but the bodies didn't. Nice. I mean, hell, I'll take it. I'm glad I didn't get myself horribly killed um, by those guys. Uh, that was a lot of... Like, I feel like I could take a couple of Ravagers and it wouldn't be a problem, but I'm pretty sure taking five? Maybe not the best idea I've ever had. Self-preservation, man. It's hard. Do, 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 picking flowers. Do, 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 nothing to see here. We're gonna teleport out of here in a minute. Don't you worry, I just, because I'm, I'm Jane. Oops, nope. Clear that up later. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm dangerously low on healing, so we're just gonna get some more healing. Fill in my map. Hopefully those guys don't mess with me. Yeah, there's a lot of robots and I couldn't like climb onto a thing and snipe them from afar, which is like the only way that I can take out that many guys at once. I mean, if it were like watchers or whatever, I'd be fine. But it most assuredly was, oh, fun! Fun times, thank you, Snapmaws. Yes, good, charming, delightful, my favorite things. All right, we're gonna just like go this way. Because we're just getting healing items and then we'll move on. So it's fine. I feel like I maybe ought to search more because there's probably data points in places. It's just. I don't know. These will keep. That. No, oh, hello. Friend. I hate you guys. Hello, what am I hearing? Who's chomp, chomp, chomping? We got striders. Oh! Pringles and a watcher babysitting the Pringles. Okay, sweet. I think we might have enough healing items that I can teleport back, turn in this quest, and then I don't remember what I'm doing, but our watchers cowboys probably not. They don't have cool hats. Although you could totally, oh my God, you know it would be adorable. I'll tuck that away. A watcher in a hat. Please tell me that there's fan art of watchers in hats. Cowboy hats would be great, um, but also like Christmas hats and things. You know? Am I going the right way? I, I, I am. Cool. Oh, really? The the animations for the watchers is meerkats. Oh, I can actually kind of see that with the way that they like freeze and look, you know? Okay, it's not fire kiln root. Huzzah. I could just teleport there. I'm just, I'm getting, uh, I'm just getting some healing. 
but I'm doing much better on the healing front, so we're good. So maybe we'll just teleport to save some time. Where is... Here we go. Okay. So next time I encounter watchers, I'm going to I'm going to think of meerkats as I as I look at them. When a when when a cat stands up like that on their hind paws and they they look up like that, you know, um, I I describe that as meerkatting. So if you meerkats occasionally, it's very cute. If you find watchers wearing hats and it's not spoilers, put it in a channel or send it to me on Discord because I would like to see. Oh man. Okay, I thought that Sophie had knocked something off my desk again, but it's just the awesome forge. Yeah. All right, let's go turn things I'm into Petra. She's up around the now. back here. Oh, hello, you've got a friend up here now. Hopefully he's not giving you trouble if he... Oh, wait, no, he's the guy who uh, made the questionable decision to have the, the two people who we're fighting to make out um he's the one who sent the, them on the quest instead of him going with them got it you've got those behemoth cables don't you i knew you'd come through i did and jagri's and Baladia should be along eventually <laughs> they're together finally petra put me on guard duty for a month so i'm glad it was worth it oh thank you no problem. That's cute. I see you survived their bickering. Uh, barely. <laughs> I could say they struggle in love because they're young, but the old rarely fare better. Thank you, Aloy, for enduring them. <laughs> okay, that's really cute. I appreciate that he's like... You may not see your Grease and Bellagio before tomorrow at this rate. I appreciate that he's like, it's worth it to make my friends happy. He's a good friend. Can I talk to her? No? Okay. Is that the end of my quest with Petra? I guess that's the end of my quest with Petra. All right, so then we're done with side quests for now. We've got enough stuff. We're gonna like an opportunity to share a drink with her. We're gonna save, and then we're gonna walk in the direction of where we're supposed to go for the main story then. How does that sound? Because I'm pretty sure- There's a man who knows how to enjoy Because I can't teleport up there yet. Where am I going? There's the main story quest. So we're gonna teleport back here. I don't think is where I left. I mean, we'll find out. I don't think this is where I left approximately a billion Ravagers. I hope. So we'll head up in this general direction and then we'll do the main story quest. So there's only like two streams of meandering in between main story quest. Right? What do we got? Big old boy over there. Okay. Uh, yes, but we're going to go up this way. Hopefully we won't have to uh, cross the big old boy. No. We are going this way, into the mountains. Okay. I suppose I did get some stuff done while meandering. And you folks have stuck with me despite my meandering. Again, I'm sorry I didn't put this week's stream, or last week's stream up yet. And I haven't put up... I smell the new day on the stray in two weeks because I, I, I'm i self-conscious whenever I don't like a game or I'm not sure if I like a game I'm self-conscious about my stream of it so I haven't put the rest of the rest of that one up because I uh I don't know I don't know well I'm, I'm happy to uh, I'm happy to provide some entertainment for your work day um puck I definitely appreciate one of the one of the nice things that streams can do is this is interesting. Just completely empty space. A little bit nervous. Still recovering uh, my my healing items. It looks like there ought to be a data point out here or something. But there's not. Oh, music. Oh, music. It's interesting because the music keeps surprising me with 
new themes that I haven't heard as I go to different parts of the landscape. Okay, so we'll head this way. Let's see what kind of horrible things stop my path. All right, we got some chargers. I think I'm probably gonna wanna take this bridge across if I can so that I don't have to deal with fording the river. Oh man. Who? Who here is gonna play the new Oregon Trail when it comes out? If it's out, is it out already? I don't know. I was just really delighted when I saw the preview for it because it felt like the people who made the preview understood like, it wasn't, like, super, super, like, hey, hey, Mimi about its, like, little inside jokes. It felt more like it was, like, hey, we know the inside jokes. There are jokes, too, anyway. Please play our game. I'm, I'm excited about it. Um, it's not the sort of game that I usually stream, but I probably stream a round of it just for fun. Um, we need some downtime. We'll have some downtime, actually. When I go to Texas, I'm going to get... Um, power line adapters so I can actually access internet and I am going to try to stream while I'm there. Well, but Utah has snow. Utah has lots of snow. They got mountains. The elevation of this part of the United States is dramatically more than anywhere else in the rest of the country. It's like super, super, super super elevated compared to the entire rest of it. Yes. No, that's okay. Easier when I was a kid. Oops. Let's see. Can I safely punch across there? Because I think that I'm going to want to go up that way. So we're going to try one of these. Yeah, and even parts of Texas has have... Texas has some elevation in some parts of the state. Just not... Just not like all of it. Or even a lot. I mean, there's a lot of Texas, so... You could have a lot of elevation and still have a lot that's not elevated. Oh, Texas. All right, here we go. Oh, this is beautiful. Is that a healing item? That is a healing item. Is there anybody around here that's gonna get mad at me if I can take it? I don't think so. Just some, uh, oh wait, am I full? Oh, I'm full, I'm full. My medicine pouch is full, guys. I did it did it. Aren't you proud of me? That looks like a tank. A destroyed tank. We're going to cross over this bridge. Moving carefully, looking around. I feel like there were a lot, there was a lot more evidence of battles with the machines. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Do you see what that is? Do you see what that is? That's lore. I was right. I was right. This isn't a, this isn't a tank, but it is something significant. What was this? I wonder. Looks like it was some sort of a 3D printed something, but I don't know what it is. Well, let's investigate. Okay. Phantom limbs. I haven't found one of these in a while. In a while. All right. Phantom limbs. Dictation on. My legs hurt. I keep reaching down to rub them, but of course they're not there. I tell you, it's one thing to hear about ghost limbs, another to be haunted by them. Moment my hand passes into empty space, I'm back in Bridgewater, and that nano haze is stripping my legs layer by layer as the squad's medbot drags me out of the line of fire, and I start screaming like I was screaming there, in two places at once, two halves, but one of them gone forever, dissolved. And through the wall of the infirmary, I can hear them cheering, cheering the MRB for saving our asses, covering our evac back here, crediting them with, and with New York City still standing after a week. Do they even hear when I start screaming? Sergeant says I'll have prosthetics fitted tomorrow, good as new. Both know he's lying. I'll never be good again. <sighs> I was going to say, at this point, most of the ones on the world are not going to color the world because I found out so much of the story and the backstory that um, I was like, you know, I'm slightly less motivated to find lore in the world 
Uh, so they had to give me one, just as I was thinking that. They had to give me one that is emotional and human rather than about developing the world. So here, we're seeing a nano haze stripping my legs layer by layer, evaporating like, don't think too hard about that, folks. Don't think too hard about that. Um, So is this war? Like, are these like are these these nanobots, you know, s stripping layers off of things? Like, what point of human history is this taking place? Um, you know, is this is this a human resistance against um, against corporations? Is this a human resistance against the robots? I don't know if we've seen the MRB as an acronym before. New York City still standing after a week. That sounds more like war rather than the like eating genocide destruction of the the robots on their own. I don't know. Yeah, just like just don't this is one of those things that you can't think too much about, I don't think. Yeah, it could be Pharaoh Plague. It could be Pharaoh Plague. It's possible. Um but I don't know that there would be much cheering. I don't know. It's hard to say. I'm not sure. But that's uh, that's very interesting. When it says I'll be fitted with legs, um, we both know that's a lie. That could be a lie because, you know, we're waiting, waiting on a corporation or something like that to pay for it and they're not going to, or the, the government, because people are trying to take money away from the government's ability to take care of even veterans even though those are people who supposedly are in favor of supporting our troops our troops doesn't include veterans um apparently uh but uh but it could be that or it could be that there are, there's no time for that kind of healing because we are buying time for zero dawn to do its thing and we're not sure to me it feels like it's a previous war to me it feels more like the way to the mountain will be hard ferocious machines prowl every step of the climb more corrupted. Not corrupted, but they will not tolerate humans. Interesting. So what else is new? They're not corrupted, but I'll have to... F but th the way that he says that makes it sound less like they're just monsters who, who will fight... Or, well, robots that'll fight you like normal, and more like there's something else going on. Uh, I don't know exactly how I'm supposed to climb it, but, uh... I guess I'll I'll do it this way. Uh we might I might have guessed wrong. Maybe this isn't right. I feel like for main story stuff I should not Skyrim horsey it. But uh I this oh is that what I'm supposed to do? Is that what I'm supposed to do? Probably. I mean the hell heck, that's the only uh one of those I've got in a while, so we might as well go get it. Okay, fine. Yeah, Silence is here, in below. inserting himself into a conversation where he is not wanted. Oh man, I filled up my healing. Okay, maybe I can't get over there easily. Hmm. How on earth am I supposed to get up there? Yeah, silence is not good. I don't like him, which I realize is a groundbreaking opinion of mine not just everybody's feelings about him. how the heck am I supposed to do this I'm gonna have to go down and cross that and go up that way um maybe Yeah, it looks like I'm supposed to do this. Well, that's why we are not doing... That's why we're not starting off the next stream like this. We're doing some of this so that the next stream can have less of the killing time in between stuff. Stuff. Oh, hello. Who are you? Are you enemies or are you friends? You're a bunch of bandits. What are you doing here, bandits? What are you holding? Probably something I don't want you to have.
Oh. Took care of business. Okay. Well, there we go. I assume that the presence of bandits there probably indicates that that's the place that I'm supposed to be. But that did actually draw attention to the fact that there was a bridge there that I did not even notice. Try me now. Okay. No thanks. I, I don't like the big weapons. Man, that was a lot of shock traps. Why do you have so many shock traps? Man, Mastodon. I I don't remember if I've made a Mastodon account. I don't think I have. Um, I, I've made a co-host. And people have been talking about Hive, but that kind of came out of nowhere in a way that feels weird to me. So I haven't yet figured out exactly what my social media future is going to look like. It should probably involve less Twitter anyway. So here's another... One of these, like, crushed prefab thingums. I don't know. And that. Just the plateaus over there. Oh, is that is that so, Chrono? Okay, I wasn't sure. Um. Oh, interesting. A tree that's been broken. That's curious. That makes me feel like something interesting might have happened here. Yeah, I've heard that um, Hive has some, like, multiple people can have the same screen name, which does kind of seem like it uh, misses the point of having a unique name. Things? I don't know. All right. So they have two things here to make it more likely that your, um, your focus will help you find your way here. Here we have, once again, some utterly destroyed tanky scrap heap things. Okay. We're gonna save here. We might keep going a little bit, although actually no, it's 10 o'clock. It's 10 o'clock, so I guess we probably shouldn't keep going. Let me see, according to my map. Oh, there's still a bunch more. That's okay though, we'll get another van. Oh, wait, is that the last vantage? Oh, it's collectibles, is it? Yeah. Okay, so it's not the last. There's two more vantage points. Okay, so next time we're going to get a vantage point and then go to the ruins of Gaia Prime. So it'll be very exciting. Okay. Okay. All right. There we go. So I've saved for sure. I wasn't sure. You know, hold on. All right, thank, thank you, Chrono. I'm glad. It feels like it was like a little stream. Uh, where is the remaining vantage? I, I'm not sure, but but we'll 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 get to it at some point. Um, I think it's some region of the map I haven't been to yet. Thank you so much for joining. If any of our our newer folks are still here, thank you so much for being with me. I I know my my streams actually I haven't really. Thing is, we haven't had any any more speculation really in a bit. Um, cause there hasn't really needed to be, you know, we're about to get the last of our main story plot. Um, and, uh, and there's not a lot of mystery left. Um, like the, the, it's mostly now I'm just like riding the roller coaster to get to the rest of the story. Um, but I, but I'm enjoying it. I do feel like we're close. We've got to be fairly close. I mean, we're 70% of the way through the game. I'm pretty sure we're pretty close to the end of the game <laughs> because some of that's going to be side quests I don't want to do. Um, so we'll see how close we are to the very end and where this takes us and what we're going to do next. But for now, I'm not going to be streaming this Thursday because it is Thanksgiving in the U.S. and I will be flying back to the U.S. to have Thanksgiving with my family. Um, but we will be streaming this game. Oh, sorry, Soph. We will be streaming this game next Tuesday. So if you like this, please tune in next Tuesday. Um, and we're playing Stray on Thursdays. I don't know if that's going to last. I'm not quite sure what we're going to do. Um, I've been I've been kind of struggling with it. I'm not sure it's the right game for me, which is a bit frustrating. Um, but it happens sometimes. Uh, yeah. Um, 
it should be it should be good though and then we'll have a few more weeks until i fly home to texas but i will be getting um an internet thing so that i should be able to stream i won't be bringing my ps4 probably so we may not we may have to put this on hold until i get back um but i'm going to try to stream other things so might be a good opportunity to do more of those like smaller game uh things and maybe some creative sprints, which I've been talking about doing, but haven't done because I've been too busy. Um, yeah. So thank you all so much for joining me. You, as always, are lovely, lovely folks. Yes, please feel free to join us on our Discord. Um, and, uh, and yeah, uh, hang out, be cool, be kind to each other and yourselves. And uh, I, will, uh, I, will, I will see you lovely folks another time. <laughs> it is in fact because of my mom that I get to have two Thanksgivings. Thanks, mom. More celebrations are more better. All right. Good night. Bye.